Now I come to what everyone is waiting for. <laughs> Personal income tax. I have five major announcements to make in this regard. These primarily benefit our hard-working middle class. The first one concerns rebate. Currently, those with income up to 5 lakh do not pay any tax, do not pay any income tax in both old and new regimes. I propose to increase the rebate limit to 7 lakhs in the... I propose to increase the rebate limit to 7 lakh in the new tax regime. Thus, persons in the new tax regime with income up to 7 lakhs will not have to pay any tax at all. The second proposal relates to middle class individuals. I had introduced in the year 2020 the new personal income tax regime with six income slabs starting from 2.5 lakh. I propose to change the tax structure in this regime by reducing the number of slabs to five and increasing the tax exemption limit to three lakhs. The new tax rates are zero to three lakh, nil. Three to six lakhs, 5%. Six to nine lakhs, 10%. 9 to 12 lakh, 15 percent, 12 to 15 lakhs, 20 percent, and above 15 lakhs, 30 percent. This will provide major relief to all taxpayers in the new regime. An individual, an individual with an annual income of 9 lakhs will be required to pay only 45,000 rupees. This is only 5 percent of his or her income. It is a reduction of 25% on what he or she is required to pay now. That is 60,000. So in the place of 60,000, it is now only 45,000. Similarly, an individual with an income of 15 lakh rupees would be required to pay only 1.5 lakh or 10% of his income or her income, a reduction of 20% from the existing liability of 1,87,500 rupees. My third proposal is for the salaried class and the pensioners, including family pensioners, for whom I propose to extend the benefit of standard deduction to the new tax regime. Each salaried person with an income of 15.5 lakh rupees or more will thus stand to benefit by 52,500 rupees. My fourth announcement in personal income tax is regarding the highest tax rate, which in our country is 42.74%. This is among the highest in the world. I propose to reduce the highest surcharge. I propose to reduce the highest surcharge rate from 37% to 25% in the new tax regime. This would, result, this would result in reduction of the maximum rate. This would result in the reduction of the maximum tax rate to 39%. Lastly, the limit of 3 lakh rupees for tax exemption on leave and cashment, on retirement of non-government salaried employees was last fixed in the year 2002, when the highest basic pay in the government was only 30,000 rupees per month. In line with the increase in the government salaries, I am proposing to increase this limit to 25 lakh rupees.
we are also making we are also making the new income tax regime as the default tax regime however citizens will continue to have the option to avail the benefit of the old tax regime apart from these i am also making some other changes as given in the annexure as a result of these proposals revenue of about 38000 crore to 37000 crore in direct taxes and rupees 1000 crore in indirect taxes will be foregone while revenue of about 3000 crore will be additionally mobilized thus the total revenue foregone is about 35000 crores annually i now come to my direct tax proposals honorable speaker these proposals aim to maintain continuity and stability of taxation further simplify and rationalize various provisions to reduce the compliance burden promote the entrepreneurial spirit and provide tax relief to citizens it has been constant endeavor of the income tax department to improve taxpayer services by making compliance easy and smooth our taxpayers portal received a maximum of 72 lakh returns in a day processed more than 6.5 crore returns this year average processing period reduced from 93 days in financial year 1314 to 16 days only now and 45% of the returns were processed within 24 hours we intend to further improve this roll out the next generation common it return form for taxpayer convenience and also plan to strengthen the grievance redressal mechanism